All right, moving on, moving on, moving on. Uh, the leadership of the National Rifle Association and the fact that it filed bankruptcy is not going to get off so easy. Ta-da! Um, as a matter of fact, uh, in a rare move, the trustee, which who, who is part of the Justice Department, called for the dismissal of the bankruptcy filing or the appointment of an outside monitor. Okay, what does all that mean? Yeah, that's what I thought when I saw this in New York Times. Duh, what does that mean? Well, here's the deal. The NRA's hope of end-running a legal challenge in New York. That's what they were trying to do. Um, those hopes were dealt a serious blow yesterday when a Justice Department official uh, rebuked, I love that word, rebuked the NRA's leadership and called for the dismissal of its, bankruptcy, of its bankruptcy filing or the appointment of an outside monitor to oversee its finances. Why? Well, let me get the information from the New York Times article here. Uh, there's a lawyer in the United States Trustee's Office. Her name is Lisa Lambert. And the U.S. Trustee's Office is part of the Justice Department. And she said that, quote, the evidentiary record clearly and convincingly establishes that Wayne LaPierre, the long NRA chief executive, has failed to provide the proper oversight. For a number of years, the record is unrefuted that Wayne LaPierre's personal expenses were made to look like business expenses. See, there's something about the NRA that, that I, I know people who are members of the NRA uh, don't know about, don't care about, don't give a shit. It's just one more little patch they can sew onto their flak jacket. But the NRA has been milking the sheep for decades. The NRA is a domestic terror organization. It didn't start out that way. And I've said before, back when I was in my early 20s, I was a member of the NRA. I used to get their, uh, uh, well, I don't know, it wasn't their magazine, but I got a free subscription to the magazine Guns and Ammo. But this is when the NRA was all about gun safety, gun registration. Um, uh, well, gun safety incorporated an enormous amount of information on how not to kill yourself or your neighbor or somebody when you were out hunting pheasant or whatever. But then it, 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 it changed and it became a fascist organization. And then it changed again and became a terrorist organization, which is what it is now. Now, what happened was Wayne LaPierre, that gruesome son of a bitch, and the NRA had filed for bankruptcy. Now, not because of any financial distress, even though their membership has been sinking, but as a strategy to avoid litigation in New York where the Attorney General there, Letitia James, is trying to shut down the NRA and claw back millions of dollars in misspent funds from Wayne and three other current or former executives. These white males have been, uh, uh, they didn't even give bend over stamps when they fucked these people in the, in the hindquarters out of their money for, for decades, thinking that they, uh, uh, the contributors were thinking, well, I'm going to shore up a freedom loving organization. No, you weren't. You were providing a lavish lifestyle to an ignorant son of a bitch, Wayne LaPierre, who once a year would hold a rally and get all these uh, uh, tongue-tied, beer-gutted thugs together in a hall someplace to uh, chant about, totally pry it out of my cold, dead fingers. You remember him. The... NRA, for some history here, was chartered in New York a century and a half ago. 
but it filed its bankruptcy case in federal court in Dallas. And they're trying to move the charter that the organizing documents for this fascist terrorist organization to Texas. Get away from those goddamn colored liberal professors of justice in New York and come down here to Texas where us real white Americans can control this bullshit. Not going to happen, boys. But the position of the U.S. trustee's office, which, according to Times, weighed in during closing arguments on the final day of the trial, the trustee's office is likely to uh, uh, have an effect on the presiding judge, one Harlan Hale, who said he will decide by early next week whether or not to dismiss um, the bankruptcy filing and the, the attempt to protect itself with a trustee through receivership, I guess it is. Um, the U.S. trustee program oversees the integrity of the nation's bankruptcy courts, by the way. Now, the NRA's lawyer, one Gregory Garman, appeared flustered, <laughs> flustered by the trustees weighing in on the last day of the trial. And while this lawyer, Gregory Garman, said, quote, I respect immensely the office of the trustee, he also suggested politics might be at play. No, you think, Gregory, you think maybe in this instance, politics might, oh, you mean politics against you fascist son of a bitches. Is that what you mean? Ah, I see. When you fuckers do this, it's not fascism uh, or terrorism. No, 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 no. It's defending the Constitution. But when somebody forces you or attempts to force you to operate within the confines of the law, well, that might be politics at play. Right, Gregory? Now, he made this statement about maybe politics are at play, even though critics of the NRA's management are growing, even on the right, and include, if you believe this, the NRA's former president, traitorous son of a bitch that should have been tried, convicted, and shot, Oliver North, a disgrace forever to the United States Marine Corps, a stain on the reputation of the Marine Corps. Him. Yeah. But he's starting to think, well, now, wait a minute. Um, um, we, we don't like how the NRA is going. No, what Oliver North wants is more open murder of people in the streets because Oliver North is, by definition, a goddamn terrorist. Look what he did. We're concerned Iran in 1979, 1980, providing the Iranians with tow missiles while they were holding 47 Americans hostage. And the deal was, when Ronald Reagan gets elected over here, you release the hostages, we'll release the tow missiles. And you know how the tow missiles were bought? through uh, either a Turkish or an Israeli uh, arms dealer. They were bought <laughs> with money provided by American retired uh, uh, military oligarchs who had made millions, if not hundreds of millions. Money that was declared, uh, operations that were declared illegal. You can't do this. This is in order to fight uh, the freedom fighters in Nicaragua. It all tied together. And Oliver North was the linchpin of all of this shit. There were a couple more involved. But Oliver North, the good colonel, the son of a bitch who testified before Congress, was found guilty and then had his conviction overturned because his testimony had been immunized. It just goes on and on. See, this is what I'm talking about. When I talk about 40, 45 years, this shit's been going on. You can date it back to Reagan, just like Tom Hartman does. Reagan and these filthy goddamn Nazis who went to work for him, like Oliver North. Anyway, back to the NRA's lawyer, Gregory Garman. He's quoted as saying, 
Quote, I'm disappointed, disappointed that I hear for the first time in closing arguments that the United States trustee has now taken a position for which I'm expected to respond in real time. But that is what it is. Your Honor, we have natural enemies. This Department of Justice may not see eye to eye with the National Rifle Association, so be it. We have done the right thing. End quote. Go ahead, try to translate that for me. I have no fucking idea what this jerk is saying. We have natural enemies. Um, Bears? Uh, Hungry mountain lions. Rattlesnakes. We have natural enemies. This Department of Justice may not see eye to eye with the National Rifle Association, but so be it. We have done the right thing, end quote. (laughs) What? 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 The trial, this bankruptcy trial, has underscored concerns about Wayne LaPierre's oversight of this terror organization. He, LaPierre, testified that he took the NRA into bankruptcy without telling even his top lieutenants or most of his board. He testified that he didn't know his former chief financial officer had received $360,000 a year consulting contract after leaving under a cloud, or that his personal travel agent hired by the NRA was charging a 10% booking fee for charter flights on top of a retainer that was $26,000 a month. You, you see? I mean, Woodward and Bernstein, or no, it was a deep throat who, who made it very clear. Follow the money. Follow the money with these corrupt son of a bitches, these Christian fascists. Follow the money. And all of a sudden you find yourself staring into a nest of vipers. Bottom line to all this, the NRA is uh, the days of it milking its sheep over and fucking over and fucking over again might come to an end, which really doesn't mean that much insofar as this terrorist organization here in the United States is allowed to keep operating. Oh, it'll keep operating. Uh, Maybe it'll rehire the traitorous dog filth Oliver North to serve as president again. What do you think? I know they could hire Sean Hannity. Wouldn't that be a fucking joke, huh? Hi, Truth Seekers. Mike Malloy here. As you know, we've switched formats and are now broadcast exclusively on the Progressive Voices Network. So that means you get fewer program interruptions, no corporate commercials, and lots of profanity. But our format change also means some of our radio listeners no longer hear the program. It's been a while since I mentioned our podcasts. So you may have forgotten that there is a way to listen to this program anytime you need a good dose of screaming. Visit MikeMalloy.com and subscribe to our podcast. As a podcast subscriber, you can download the program to your mobile device and take me with you wherever you go. And if you have a friend who needs a dose of truth-seeking, you can give a gift subscription as well. That's MikeMalloy.com and never miss a minute of the uncensored fun and frivolity.